hey guys, I've noticed that loads of you have started your own YouTube channels to help other people with revision. So if you're thinking about doing it or wondering how other people do it, here are a few little hints and tips for you. There are loads of fantastic revision channels out there and loads of them are written by students, not by teachers. And there's really no way of telling the difference. I've, I've met loads of these people at um, YouTube, uh, various different conferences and stuff, and I would never guess from the channel that these were GCSE or A-level students doing these channels. Uh, they're, they're fantastic, they're fantastic channels. And then one of the reasons that I would never guess is because you don't have to put your face on camera if you don't want to. There are loads of different ways you can do this. We can go really, really basic and simple. Like my first video was way back, like, oh, two years ago now. It was literally, I'd got some blank bits of um, A4 paper, some like felt pens, and I drew out revision notes on a bit of paper and then recorded the bits of paper and then I talked over the top of it. Your vision videos can be as simple as that. You don't even have to talk over the top of it. You can just record your vision notes in a video, like pause for a few seconds on each video, on each um, paper or slide, however you're doing it. And if you want, you can put music over the top of it later. YouTube will allow you, like it has a whole bank of music that you can just click apply to this video and it'll put the music on the video so you don't even have to like work out how to do that bit for you. YouTube gives you the ability to do that. Um, the other way you can do it is by making PowerPoint slides. This is really, really easy. So if you don't want to write out or if you don't want to draw out your notes or you don't want to video your mind maps, just put it into a PowerPoint slide. Then you can either print off your PowerPoint slides and then just get your phone and record those. Or if you go to save as in PowerPoint, yeah, you need to set transitions. So like transition from slide to slide or the transitions tab at the top. And then go to save as and save it as an MP4 file. Then it will make a video for you. Then you have a video of your revision notes. Or you can do flashcards. I've done loads and loads of flashcards videos. Again, you don't have to put your face on these if you don't want to. You don't have to talk on these if you don't want to. If you feel kind of like... Um, shy or nervous or think that maybe people are going to make fun of you just don't put your face and your voice on them and just have your hands like have your phone up here like um, when, when I started I used to get a load of books because I have a load of books and then balance my phone and then put some more books on top so that like just the camera was showing out and then do flashcards like that that would be a great way of like making portable revision notes for you um, how else can you do it? You can obviously just sit and talk to camera, like I'm doing now. Um, now, you're going to need a way to like get your phone or your camera or whatever and prop it up, get a stand, but if you really don't want to spend much money, you can just lean your phone up against the um, windowsill and then talk to your, your camera. Um, and you don't even have to upload your videos to YouTube if you don't want. You can keep them completely private, just keep them on your phone. But if you do want to upload them to YouTube and keep them private so just you can see them, then you can put them up as private videos or you can put them up as unlisted videos. Private videos only you and certain people can see. Unlisted videos are videos that only you can see and other people that you can share the link with. So if you want to make the video and like share it with a few friends, unlisted would be a good way. If you want to make the video and share it with everybody, just that it is a public video. Um, if you're going to do that, make sure you look after your privacy. So, like, don't put your name and your school and your age on there, because that, that would be silly. Um, the other thing is, if you're just going to be using them for yourself, um, don't monetize the videos, because if only you watches them and then monetize and you watch the adverts that goes against YouTube's rules and regulations so don't do that and honestly if you make them public don't expect to make any money from the videos you have to 
you have to get a lot, a lot of use to even be able to afford to go to Starbucks and get a cup of coffee. So if you are going to make videos, don't expect to make loads of money from them. You don't have to put your face on camera, don't have to put your voice on camera. Um, it can be really, really simple, it can be really, really cheap, really quick, really easy. Um, you can just, you don't have to have your hands, you can just like record bits of paper. My first video was on the eye, go and check that out and you can see kind of like how to do a rough and ready YouTube video for a vision. Um, and then, good luck guys. Um, you're not going to make a load of money off YouTube doing revision videos like this. Um, they are quite time consuming, so don't, don't make YouTube videos at the expense of making revision notes or doing past papers or doing flashcards, okay? Use your time sensibly. They can be a really, really good way to revise, but they can also be really, really time consuming. So to make sure that you're using your time wisely. Um, good luck with your revision. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you.